Hello again. It's Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. It lasted well over an hour, but on Monday night, key members of the Allegheny County School Board, including its chairman, its superintendent, and the entire central office staff, told the public about their opinion of HCA's lead auditor and fellow school board member, Donnie Kern. And it wasn't good. Just prior to showtime, the Journal has learned that the Board of Supervisors will call for Kern's resignation on Monday. Listen. Mr. Kern's assumption in this document are false. His statements are false. Mr. Kern's innuendos, accusations, false statements, and intentional misinterpretations is detrimental to our students, our staff, the members of the school board, and the Allegheny Highlands community. In his short time on the school board, Mr. Kern has wasted a tremendous amount of money and human capital. As of today, $21,591 in aid positions has been spent for the school board attorney cost to answer Mr. Kern's questions. But more importantly, well over 225 man hours have been needed to chase his false accusations, his assumptions and innuendos. This needs to stop. Mr. Kern's actions and behavior have negatively affected staff morale and distracted their focus away from job responsibilities that are already stressful and demanding enough. Our staff members are dedicated, hardworking, capable professionals who have the right to be treated respectfully and professionally. And I'm proud to be working. Board members, it is our belief that by word and deed, Mr. Kern has discredited the reputations of several highly regarded professionals. And by assuming the guilt of all, in absence of any fact whatsoever, Mr. Kern has forever damaged his working relationship with those same individuals. Now therefore be it resolved that the school board expresses formally that it disavows the allegations included in Mr. Kern's December 11th, 2018 report and request that he abide by the code of conduct of school board members. The former head of the Allegheny Education Association, Bob Umstead, and other county teachers had some frank things to say about school board member Donnie Kern on Monday as well. Watch. Fix the problem, that's your job. Let them teach, you fix the problem. Mr. Kern, without valid and accurate data, you are just another person with an opinion. Your half-truths and false accusations will do nothing for our district, and they surely do not keep the focus on our students. I will always defend myself, my ethics, my coworkers, and my students without hesitation. And now a word from our sponsor. On Monday, a neat Black History Month program was moderated by former and longtime local educator Teresa Johnson at the Clifton Forge Public Library. Several former Jefferson School students and one former teacher there shared some wonderful memories. Watch. Miss uh, Palmer, <coughs> uh, she realized that I was more advanced than what a normal first grader would be, and she would give me other stuff to do so that I didn't sit there bored. Mm. And believe it or not, in first grade, she actually had me tutoring one of the kids that now would be in this big seven handicapped. I mean, it really was. And, but those are the kind of experiences I had uh, from the beginning. And some of the teachers we had, the first grade teacher and Ms. Hurd, the third grade teacher, they were some of the classiest people that I ever went out to meet. And of course, on a few occasions, I was wrongfully accused and sent to the first of the law. <laughs> and, uh, my punishment was, Mr. Ewan made me read philosophy. He made me read Shakespeare. And he insisted on excellence. And that apart from my teachers loving me all through my school career, 
was what made me feel that I would, I would do whatever I had to do. Friends and co-workers alike joined together both on Monday and Tuesday of this week to honor and say goodbye to retiring Clifton Forge Police Chief Barry Balzer. On Monday, a big gathering saw Balzer be presented with a new rifle as a going away present. And on Tuesday night, the Clifton Forge Town Council honored him with a resolution of appreciation. And then, Kim Lewis stepped forward. Listen. Now for the be a recital at the Clifton Forge Town Council that's hereby honor, thank, and congratulate Chief Barry G. Balzer on his retirement and just salute him for a job well done. Uh, every issue I've had, you have addressed promptly and professionally. <laughs> Talk about fast action. Clifton Forge resident Susan Goings asked the Clifton Forge Town Council to help promote more local broadband demand, and soon thereafter, the council unanimously passed a resolution of support. It was, basically, her way of asking local fiber optic cable provider Lumos for some faster action on serving the town. Listen. You know, I'll, I'll go back to an old saying that, that all, a lot of you all are familiar with, and that is the, the squeaky wheel is the one that gets the grease. And so I am going to encourage you all to be the squeaky wheel for our town and reach out and um, let them know that we, we want broadband for every resident here in the town of Clifton Forge. And we'll be right back. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Walter Nick, 84 of Covington, died on Sunday. Phyllis Hodges, 71 of Natural Bridge Station, died on Saturday. Baby Jasper Williams of Fairfield died last Thursday. Meredith Jennings, 93 of Covington, passed away on Sunday. Noel Paxton, 83 of Clifton Forge, died on Monday. Minnie Coleman, 89 of Buena Vista, died on Monday. And Jacob Bush, 61 of Covington, died on Sunday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be mostly cloudy with rain likely. High of 56 and a low of 38. On Friday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers. High of 45 and a low of 43. And on Saturday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 55 and a low of 34 degrees. But there's good news. There's only 21 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, February 27, 2019. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.